<clears throat> Testing. How do you overcome depression? How do you overcome depression? And is it really as bad as your mind is making it out to be? Look, I know you want a better life and you're looking to eliminate those negative thoughts you've been having. I'm Logan Wallace and I wanna show you a psychological trick that I use very often. It helps combat negative feelings I get from time to time. I'm gonna quickly tell you about the time when I was about to get shot by some psychopath and how it affected my life for the better. And I'm gonna quickly tell you about the time when I was about to get shot by some psychopath and how it affected my life for the better. <laughs> Sounds crazy, but when you use what I'm gonna share with you, you'll feel much better and you can even prevent depression from happening again. But this isn't a magic pill though. Every situation is different, so I can't guarantee that it'll work. I don't know what you're going through, but I can tell you this. This has helped me many times in the past. See, a couple years ago, I felt like complete garbage. I felt like a failure. I was lazy. I had no ambition. I just got evicted from my, I just got evicted from my apartment. So I had to go and find a place to stay. The problem? I barely had any money. I spent the last $400 I, I spent the last $400 I had to rent a room that I found on Craigslist. The house is pretty nice, but the house is pretty nice, but the house is pretty nice, but something terrible happened a few days after I moved in. One of my roommates, his name was Joe. He was pretty much a drunk guy on heavy drugs. The owner of the house, the owner of the house, his name was Nate. Now he knew Joe was bad news but he needed the money, so he was willing to put up with it. And it was one night when Joe was blasting this horrible sounding music. It was 2 a.m. and Nate was, it was 2 a.m. and Nate worked third shift, so he wasn't around. I couldn't sleep, so I texted Joe and I asked him to lower down his music. And I couldn't sleep, so I texted Joe and I couldn't sleep, so I texted Joe and asked him to lower down the music. He completely flipped. The dude went insane. He started banging on my door, and luckily it was locked, and he was threatening me with a gun. I didn't believe him at first, until he actually shot at my door. All this over asking him to lower down the music. He ended up leaving the scene and we ended up finding out that he had done some serious drugs that night. But I couldn't sleep because of my paranoia. That following morning, I was being audited at my job, but I couldn't focus. I was tired, paranoid because of what just happened. So I failed the audit and got demoted. After everything I just went through, you would think that it can't get any worse, right? I was at an all-time low. Depression took over my life. I couldn't help but feel like, I couldn't help but feel like a worthless piece of garbage. I couldn't help but feel like a worthless piece of garbage. Every single day I woke up with no meaning, blaming everyone else for my problem. Then my friend Luigi finally told me to wise up and basically gave me a slap of reality. He told me how I could become an entrepreneur. He told He told me how I, He told me how I can He told me how I can become He told me how I can become an entrepreneur and sell stuff using the internet to advertise a product. And that's when it hit me. A couple weeks later, after doing some research on the topic, I was out of my depression. But why? Hello? Hello? All right, just give me a sec. I just got to uh, record this last bit. It's going to take five seconds. It's going to take five seconds. Relax. But why? It's because I finally had a true goal that I would... 
It was because I finally had a true goal that I felt deep in my heart that it was obtainable. Something that could change my life and there was not a shred of doubt in my mind that could stop me. So I'm here to tell you today, So I'm here to tell you today. So I'm here to tell you today. So I'm here to tell you today. The trick to getting yourself out of that mess you're in is to have something you feel very strongly about. Make it a goal. But make it a goal that you know deep in your heart it is obtainable. If you don't feel like it's something you can achieve, it's not strong enough. I know I know there's something that you want I know there's something that is on your mind and you want to achieve it even if you don't feel like it at this moment 